Hi everyone, this is Congressman Andy Kim on Sunday, April 5th. I hope you've had a, a good weekend. I hope you've been able to stay safe and healthy. Uh, I spent a lot of this weekend talking to small business owners across our district, Burlington County, Ocean County, across New Jersey, and, and also across this country. As uh, the Paycheck Protection Program and, and other initiatives uh, started up last week, and it hasn't started in, in the way that it, it should have. Uh, there have been all sorts of problems with the rollout from the Small Business Administration uh, where lending banks are not able to keep up with uh, the timetables that uh, have been laid out, uh, all especially when it comes to uh, the $10,000 support that was supposed to be able to come up front. Uh, I know a lot of you uh, small businesses and, and business owners have been getting in touch with me um, and, and, and others in Congress uh, talking about just the struggles that you're having, that this $10,000 is needed right now, um, that you know we really need, you really need this to be able to get through this incredibly difficult period as you're trying to think through uh, what is gonna happen next for your business, for your family. I, I hear you, and this is unbelievably frustrating. I'm gonna do everything I can in the Small Business Committee to be responsive to this, uh, trying to figure out what we can do to ensure that this funding that was intended to be able to get to you as soon as possible does. So again, thank you for reaching out. Your uh, stories and, and your explanations of the process have been incredibly helpful for us to be able to shine a light on this, to be able to have the oversight over the SBA uh, that we need to when they're clearly uh, not keeping up with uh, the speed and the intent of what we tried to push forward through Congress in the CARES Act. Uh, so uh, stay tuned. I'll be following up on this and trying to get you some answers to the uh, questions and the urgency uh, that you were reaching out this weekend. Uh, we are continuing to see uh, the, the troubles that we're having here in New Jersey. We had another 3,482 positive cases in the last 24 hours. Brings us up to over 37,000 uh, for the state as a whole. Um, and continuing to have uh, uh, a high number of deaths, 71 in the last 24 hours, bringing our state total to 917. So we are still seeing these numbers climbing, um, climbing uh, far beyond where we want them to be. Uh, the capacity of our healthcare workers uh, is strained, but uh, we're doing everything we can to be able to provide uh, the support that we can. So I'll be engaging some more uh, on some of these key issues you heard me talk about yesterday uh, about testing capabilities and capacity in New Jersey. I wanna make sure that that continues to increase um, and we're trying to do what we can to, to make sure we have the test kits, the personal protective equipment, uh, and, uh, and, and the personnel that are able to do this. So uh, that'll be a big part of the next couple of days for me and I'll keep you posted as we make a really big push uh, right now to make sure we keep that capacity going. So I hope this is uh, helpful again to all the small business owners. Uh, I'll be following up with you, um, trying to make sure that we can get back to you and know that I, I absolutely agree with you you need the support now, uh, you needed it yesterday, you needed it the day before that. This is, uh, it can't drag on any longer. Uh, we'll try to do everything we can. So thank you and, and please stay safe.